History is full of stories of demons and other unworldly creatures coming into our world and wreaking havoc on society. But what does science have to say about zombies? Are these ferocious freaks plausible or scientifically accurate in any way? Should we be preparing for a zombie apocalypse? Well, it depends on what type of zombie we're talking about. Dying and coming back from the dead? Not so likely. But a virus that induces zombie-like qualities of rage and the incessant need to eat human flesh? Hypothetically, yes. The main factor involved is finding a virus specific to the brain areas for these symptoms while leaving other areas intact. Viruses can enter the body and affect cells in many ways, but we're going to focus on the neurons. Neurons are some of the longest cells and can transport molecules and proteins across the entire body. Many viruses, such as rabies, take advantage of something called retrograde exonal transport to travel from their entry point to where they want to be. In the case of rabies, the virus can enter anywhere and slowly make its way to your brain or central nervous system. The farther it starts physically from your brain, the longer it will take to get there, sometimes years. But once it's there, it's generally too late. Many viruses follow a similar system, with the only difference being which neurons they're specific to. This zombie virus would have to use specific neurons to affect particular parts of the brain to induce a zombie state without damaging the entire brain. Sound unlikely? Well, it just so happens that the olfactory nerve, which is in your nose and used for scent, leads directly to some areas of the brain that could cause zombified effects, and would leave other areas of the brain intact. Specifically, it leads to the ventral medial hypothalamus, which tells you you're full, the amygdala, which controls emotion and memory, and the frontal cortex responsible for problem solving, morality, and inhibiting impulsive action. Essentially, transmission of a virus through the olfactory nerve could create super hungry, aggressive, brain-dead beings that can't recognize family and friends or control their own actions other than to feed. Sounds kind of like a zombie. So while the picture of a rotting or invincible zombie may be less than likely, with the right virus nerve specificity, a form of zombies could be possible. Will you be ready? Got a burning question you want answered? Ask it in the comments or on Facebook and Twitter, and subscribe for more weekly science videos.